Hello and welcome everyone. This is Lavender Sky Panther and today is Wednesday, March 3rd, 2021. And today's topic is called Sky Capades. It's a collection of images and sky observations happening February 26th through March 2nd, 2021. And this is an alternate cover slide. I wasn't sure which one I was going to go with. Uh, I like this one too. It's just very odd, the kind of pairings of everything. So some very interesting things presented themselves in the skies during this time frame this week. We're going to check them out. But before we do, I'd like to say good day, Osio, Pau, Buongiorno, Guten Tag, Kia Ora, Jambo, Kedu, Buenos Dias, Bonjour, Ni Hao, Cien Dobre, Konnichiwa, Dobro Honya, Anyo Aseo, Portarji, Doviden, Aloha Winala, Kalimera, and Huden Dach. And today's starter image is just of some incense that was creating some beautiful smoke patterns outside in the breeze. And this incense had lavender, rose, orange, and tangerine in it. It's a very nice blend that I highly recommend. And now we're going to get into the sky observations. And a big heartfelt thanks to all of you, whether you are new or returning to this channel. If you're new, I'm going to refer to some of these photos going forward as either originals or enhanced. When I say enhanced, I simply mean I've edited attributes of the photo such as color, saturation, brightness, contrast, things of that nature, just to better call out and highlight what's going on in the photo. I also might drop in some letters just to help people better follow along as we move along. Um, when I say, in this case, it's called strange cloud activity in quotes. Um, when I say cloud, acti <laughs> cloud activity with the quotes in there, it simply means that um, there's either a very clear, um, clear showing of a cloaking craft or a suspected cloaking craft and then some shows it's going to be really obvious some more than others and some it's just by my sixth sense i've been doing this for almost three years very intently intently and you know i've been observing skies all my life around the world and i've been here for decades on the planet so anyway let's get going oh one more thing when i talk about a cloaking craft i'm also talking about something that's three-dimensional 3d you can knock on it touch it that type of thing or it could be interdimensional something that kind of is a little more phantom like in nature or it could be something 3D that's kind of phasing in and out of state. And when I say any of this with craft, I'm talking definitely something that can be extraterrestrial in origin, whether basic or an advanced type of technology, or something uh, human-made, or something human-made in collaboration with ETs or ET tech. Uh, so let's get going on this one. I'm going to go through the first several slides a little bit more quickly than usual because they're similar in nature. Um, there are some things distinguishing, distinguishable you know, in each one that are a little bit different, but I'll leave those to you to look a little more in-depth on your own time. I just need to keep this, this show a little bit shorter for time's sake today. Anyway, we're going to look. We see at D some kind of tufted strange activity happening here with a form in there. A, this is, seems to be kind of a hard shape that doesn't really kind of fit with everything else going on in this kind of cloud assembly. This whole thing at B is jutting out strangely. You know, it looks like a wedge or, you know, triangular form just, you know, on its own, you know, pushing out in a different, um, you know, it has like a different energy and movement coming out of this thing, not like everything else that should be kind of more or less static and moving as a group along. And then this, you know, it's a triangular form. So let's look at this with some enhancement to see everything better. D kind of washes out, so we'll leave that alone. A.1, though, we still have this hardened shape. It almost looks like beak-like coming out of there. Then we have this, what looks like a cascade of plasma activity. Uh, I forgot to mention, when I'm talking about cloaking craft, my go-to on the cloaking material is going to be plasma. I'm just referring to something denser than water vapor that holds its form and you know creates a good cloak. Is it exactly plasma? I can't tell for sure without going up there and measuring it myself. However, that's the suspected mode and medium happening. Um, so anyway, we have this kind of ring cascading around here and this very odd, sharp, um, sorry, wedge shape, triangular shape happening in here. Then we've got something strange here, kind of like dart-like or delta-like with a bright point on it. Looks like it has some kind of reflection. Looks like it has a little bit of a trail. And this too, this triangular form looks like it has a little bit of a trail. And it actually looks like there's another shape happening in front of it with its own plasma or cloaking material. And it's uh, reflecting something here and it's a little more dis discoidal in shape. Here's another strange cloud activity at sunrise. I think it's the same, similar, you know, um, actually, sorry, the same cloud form, just different things happening at a slightly different time. So here we have that like beak-like, hook-like thing happening over here, another triangular form, another triangular form happening beyond. So let's take a look at this with some enhancement. And there you see this kind of a more solid mass hiding in there. Um, same thing here too. I'm saying more solid because it's still holding true and black and dark, even though I've really brightened this whole scene up. This even looks like a, a triangular shape cloaking in here. 
this is you know the what I was talking about the, the plasma clothing material and also I'm going to be talking about this stuff when it's really tufted it means when it's kind of agitated and concentrated around an object to to better cloak it usually around the edges sometimes cascading in front here's a little bright white point and I always look at those two uh, you'll know if you've seen this show before you know it's a curiosity um, you know what's going on there when everything else is kind of even in color whether it's a grayscale or has a bright color to it and we see bright white points Usually it's either reflection or um, pinhole lighting or some other features kind of poking out on an object. Um, or, you know, these things sometimes have a crystalline structure and have a little of a triangular form in there too. Um, and then here too, we just see a darker object here beyond with some cloaking material. And then this looks like even some type of object or, um, you know, just some kind of appendage popping out of whatever that thing is. All right, here we're going to look too. Now this gets really interesting. Uh, look at letter A, that looks like a tube, you know, with an opening at the end with some type of stuff coming out of it. Um, B, we've got a, a sharp triangular form on what should be like a puffy cumulus cloud, although this overall um, assembly doesn't really look like true cumulus. And then C, we have something that looks like it's um, kind of launching off of here or about to. So we look at this with enhancement, and what's interesting is we get a burst of color signature coming out of here. Now, this is at sunrise, so the sun supposed sun and that's a whole nother story about what we've got going on in the sky and what's happening with our sun these days as far as an artificial sun source solar simulator other things going on i highly re recommend you look at other earth and sky watching channels at what's going on there as well as on my own channel i cover it but anyway far to the, the left of this photo is where the sun would be coming up there'd be no way for that angle at that low you know point here for it to be illuminating here so i'm calling this a self-generating self-illuminating uh, some kind of self-illumination going on within this quote-unquote cloud activity as well. Anyway, we go back up to the, the profile here. So we've got the strange tube-like thing at 8.1, triangular form here, and then looking at C.1, something shooting off of here. So we're going to look at with even more enhancement and zooming in further at 8.2, and there's that little pipe-like form. You know, to me, that's a very straight edge with an opening at the end of it. And then we see what I thought was just going to be like um, a little bit of a plasma ring, cloaking ring coming around it, but then we even see an object within that little trail. And then B.2 is just, you know, looking at this, that's a pure, you know, triangular form, and we know we don't have those up in the clouds in nature. And here, actually, there's something here, too. It looks like an object uh, turned, you know, on angle toward us a bit. Anyway, lots of oddities happening up in there. Now here's another grouping around the same time frame, and just looking now to the north, you know, uh, opposite of where we were looking before. And at A, you just start to see these strange but very distinct regularized patterning going on here. B, it looks like something kind of jettisoned off of here or is launching off with the plasma around it. And something strange happening here and here. Also looks very pipe cylindrical-like. And then C, we've got something doing its own thing. In this case, it comes across horizontal and then it goes straight up. So again, that's not natural cloud activity anyway. You slice it. So we're going to look at it with enhancement just to see it a little bit better. And we just see there's like three of these things kind of um, radial coming around. So I think this is an object kind of perched on top at 8.1 that's cloaking and just resting there. And then B1, we definitely have some movement. So this looks like, you know, a pipe here, something's going on here, and then something splintered off here. And again, we get another look at C.1. We're going to look at this all a little bit closer. So A2, B2, C2, here we go. Look at this thing. This is definitely intelligently designed structure happening at this quote-unquote cloud and something bulbous happening up here. Then we still get a look at this. Looks like, you know, a couple of pipe ends and something happening. And C.2, we're just trying to look at it better. So now at, at A.3, B.3, C.3 below, we're zooming in even more, playing around with the enhancements on the photo a little bit more just to see if we can get any more detail. We kind of do. This looks like a little bit of a triangular form in here. We definitely see a pipe here if you follow my cursor. And look at C3, C.3. Again, just what is going on in this overall scene. And actually, we can then focus on this little thing too, and there's something popping up in here with the mention to it. So I'm definitely saying there's cloaking activity, cloaked um, crap going on all over the place on that thing. All right, this is also more strange cloud activity at sun, sunset this time. The others were at sunrise. And when we look at this, I'm just flagging. This was a strange, you know, uh, shape happening here for a cloud. I mean, the overall scene is strange because we've got dark clouds paired with white cloud beyond, and these things actually move together. You know, it wasn't like one cloud was lighter and moved at a different pace. They were all paired one in front of the other. 
that was very odd. And then we have like this little imprint going on with some brighter white points happening and then some brighter white points happening along here. So I just thought let's let's try to make it out a little better. So A.1, B.1, you start to see actually little shapes popping up here that aren't natural to the sky. Looks like they have little trails to them as well. And then C.1 is just really trying to see what's going on in there. Uh, we're going to look a little bit closer. Uh, you have like these little points bulging out with shadow to them. It shows that something looks like it's cloaking definitely in this thing. And then we lose what's going on in A1B1 just through the enhancement on this photo. All right, this is, um, we're going to just look at letter A as a point of focus because you definitely see a truncated triangle in here. And what's really strange is look at this pairing like, you know, they're, they look like they're in tandem. So two and two and two just kind of floating along. So we're definitely going to look at these. Again, this is um, happening. This one's happening at a sunset looking east. Um, so we see little bright white points, crystalline white, like pure white. And that tells me, again, there's features of something cloaking beyond. We see these dark shapes. This looks like a pointed ellipse. You know, we've got that truncated triangle I talked about. This looks like a triangle on its side, maybe also truncated at the top. And yeah, we've got some darker objects happening in here. These look like a little more interdimensional, but definitely have something of substance going on in there with some cloaking material around them. Then we're going to take another look at it. This time with the enhancement, I've taken, I've removed color and left it more in a grayscale. Sometimes that helps the eye to bring connection, see things a little bit differently. Uh, you might start to pick up different things. Like uh, here we see a little bit better silhouette of a triangular form and some other kind of spherical or um, elliptical form happening in there. Uh, so anyway, I'll leave these, this to you to just study a little more on your own to see what you think is going on in there. All right, and this is more strange cloud activity this time. Still at sunset, but looking west. Now, the overall situation here just felt and looked strange. We have some patterning happening beyond here, uh, patterning going up on an angle, you know, strange shapes. Uh, this thing is all on its own, kind of on an angle. And we have interesting color signature going on where we have bright whites and then, you know, something more reddish and golden happening. So we're going to look at that with enhancement, you know, just to kind of see what's going on. When I see a lot of stuff really disturbed in the atmosphere, to me, that's definitely presence of cloaking craft. Here we've got a little white bit, a little white bit floating along with its own little trail. I don't know if that's some type of sensor. It looks too small to be really be like an actual craft, but who knows? Um, there's darker bodies moving in and behind here. Very suspect of you know that being cloaking craft. But we're going to zoom in a little more, and um, that 8.2 is marking that kind of odd man out little cloud situation floating in front. But I really uh, enhanced this photo just to get out the bright white points here and here. So these have like edges and shadows to them, a little bit of dimension. And this has like, again, a little trail like it's moving along through the sky. So I'm definitely calling these two things cloak and craft. And even this up here, it's got a bright point. It's got a couple of edges and trails. So there's a lot of interesting things happening uh, behind the scenes, so to speak, on this that cloud formation. Okay, here now we're going to, around the same time frame, we're going to look to the north now. And just strange, you know, cloud activity was going around everywhere you looked, 360 in the sky. And so here we will go once again, you know, overall cloaking craft in here, you know, the overall shape of the cloak looks triangular in form, but you see like two distinct objects in there, um, an object in here. What's really weird about this is not only the shapes of these things and their spacing as they're traveling along, even this down here and these, it's just also these weird streaks. Excuse me one second. I'm back. And these streaks were strange. Not only does this one have dimension to it, but what was strange was that all of this, you can't even really call it clouds, so it's cloud in quotes, all these things were moving from the right of the screen, which was um, from the east, toward the left of the screen, which was toward the, the west. And so if that's the case and the movement is going this way, any kind of trail should be happening to the right of these things, not to the left. So this implies that stuff just kind of zoomed up here in place and then maybe started to move together toward the north. It was very strange. So let's look at this some with some enhancements. So you can better see these like trails or whatever this stuff is. Since it has dimension, I don't know what's going on in there. And you can just see that this thing has a trail behind it. And this one has like trails in front and behind. So I'm not sure exactly what's happening here. But again, keep in mind, everything was moving from the left, I mean, from the right to the left of the screen and not fast, not fast enough to merit tracks like this. And then this looks like it's speeding along this way. So see what you think is going on in here. All right, another strange cloud in quotes. So we've got a lot of areas to look at here. So A, B, C, D, E. Uh, we'll look and spend more time on the enhanced version on the right-hand side. The original's on the left. 
So at B.1, we've got this darker triangle with cuffs of, of uh, plasma or clothing material coming in front of it. Then A.1, something is shooting up straight while this wedge type, type thing is staying pretty static below. And then we've got these little D1 is this burst of white point and shadow and dimension to whatever's going on there. And then C.1, who's just looking at the overall character of this, so it looks like something is like stuck to the side maybe. You can kind of see the outline of it here. Um, but again, see what you can see in these photos. And also, uh, I forgot to mention, if you have any interesting angles on what's going on here or any just fun ideas, they don't have to be based in anything fact because we're all just speculating here, uh, feel free to leave your comments in the section below. Okay, here's looking at more of that strange cloud activity, and here we get those weird streaks. Now, the cloud, the other cloud activity has kind of moved on, and these streaks are still holding and actually getting even more exaggerated. So we're going to take a look. This was the view to the north. Look at this. So B.1, we have a little triangular shape going on. A.1, look at that. It's a pure curve. It's like a half disc on edge, on its edge, like a, if you turned a penny on its side. Um, we also have just darker bodies happening in here. You know, I'm just going to, again, leave this photo to you to you to look around you know, a little bit more. We've got weird things happening in here as well. See what you're finding in there. Okay, more strange cloud activity. Looking west, uh, southwest, sorry, south, southwest. And this time, look at this thing. Look at this shape. <laughs> it's like a paisley pattern. And it, it looks like it has a trail behind it and like it's just zooming up into position here. Uh, so we're going to look to the right at the enhanced version. Not only do we see this shape a little bit better, uh, you know, it holds kind of true and the rest is more plasma-like around it, cloaking-like material around it. There's something happening in here too, down here. But now we also just start to see like a red-pink signature, like a sphere beyond. Very interesting stuff. Okay, and that was happening just to the left of this photo, which would have been toward the south, and north is toward the right of this photo, and we're looking straight west. So look at the strange character of all this cloud stuff in general. You know, clouds in decades past never were pitched on an angle like this and kind of, you know, evenly parallel with each other um, as they move along the sky. And we didn't have triangular shapes, you know, just all kinds of strange happening here. And even if things were on a diagonal, then how can we get this splaying off at a different, you know, angle as well? Um, just the whole thing's weird. Uh, so I'm just marking this photo with A. I'm not going to get into each individual cloud form on this one. Again, I invite you to take a look at that uh, when you have more time on your own. Um, but we're going to be looking at what's going on behind this. So to the naked eye, you could detect a little bit of a pink glow. And bam, there we go. You can really see it with A.1. So I've put what this glow could be in the description box below. There are tons of um, theories and, and um, very some very convincing and valid arguments for what could be going on there. But as always, see what you think. And also look at other Sky and Earth watching channels and see what theories they come up with and then form your own opinion. All right, this is just strange. Look at this. This kind of just burst out of nowhere. It formed on the spot while I was observing it, um, just welling up out of nowhere and at a really strange angle, um, the same angle as these things, which seem very artificial. And then I just uh, put some enhancement on it. Look at my cursor here to the left. That's a very sharp edge. looks trapezoidal in nature, so it looks like an object is in there for sure. And then mainly I was just picking up the warmer signature that was reflecting on this thing. Um, but, you know, you also see darker bodies kind of backlit in there. So really have a look around on this one, see what you find. This looks like a diamond shape, you know, a very clear imprint of something happening there and probably something up here as well. All right, now we're going to look at a panorama west at sunset. And here's that strange cloud uh, that was just starting to well up out of nowhere. Uh, to the left we see uh, an overall uh, triangular form of this loose ca um, camouflage, I want to say, or loose cloaking material stuff. And then here we go, these weird clouds kind of pitching on this angle. Then we have other stuff kind of arcing and moving across here, something going more level. So what the heck is going on here? You know, um, the character of this overall scene is just really kind of mystifying as far as what the cloud activity is doing. But then when you look at the bottom, oh, sorry, I flipped the uh, tags. This should be the bottom one should be the enhanced version. The top is the original. But when you look at what the cloud is doing, where and why it's positioned, you can see it's just all distraction for what's really going on, which is this huge red-pink sphere beyond. So I do believe that all of this is just kind of chaotic, um, kind of like a smoke and mirror song and dance happening in front to really kind of distract you from what's really going on beyond with this, this red-pink glow. All right, we're looking at the left is the original, the right is the enhanced version. So we'll spend more time on the right, but before we jump over there, I just right away see this kind of uh, pointed elliptical shape 
it's the only thing kind of more vertical this thing's on a weird angle you know then we have a like a one two what three four five so like a pentagonal shape pretty clear edges here happening here with some type of hole in it or something happening in front um this was just all kinds of strange you know this i think we can agree is not a normal cloud cloud pattern in any way shape or form and then we've got stuff that's just level in the back this was not even a windy day um so when we look to the right we just i was trying to call it out little objects and things better but basically you can just focus on the overall silhouette of these things um, again, we've got some clear edges, facets, you know, normal clouds just don't do that. And then when we look beyond here, we see the shadow of a triangular form as well. Uh, there's a whole lot going on in here. If you really look, I'll leave that to you to look a little bit more in your own time. And then here, um, original on the left, enhancements on the right. We just have a strange kind of um, triangular, inverted triangular shape floating along here. Strange things with sharp edges coming up down here and echoing like a triangular dart shape over here. Just thought it would be good to look at with some enhancement. But what really caught my attention was going on at A. So this kind of weird nature of this bright white stuff while everything else has a tint to it. There's a little bit of bright white poking up back here. But what's going on up in here? This looks very kind of interdimensional in character coming in and out. There's like a circular form with a bright white point in there. And then here, this looks like a triangular form with a little more intense stuff happening in front of it. And same thing, some little bits of things are happening here. It's almost like these like drifted up out of this quote-unquote cloud mass. And then here, we've got a dark, dark pointed elliptical shadow going on behind here, going on behind here in a triangular dart-like form rising up here. So see what you can make out. Um, hang on one second. Okay, I'm back. And then 8.2, we're just zooming in on that area just to see if we can get, you know, pull out anything a little bit better. Start to see a fuzzy object happening in here, kind of smoky in color. Um, definitely some weird character going on in here. So I'm going to say that some type of interdimensional stuff, uh, craft popping out of whatever that is. Okay, this is weird too. Watch the movement. So we've got these streaks coming across and going up in motion here. While we have like a looser assembly of, I can't even call that cloud, whatever that material is. And that's kind of banking up and arcing upward, you know, going from horizontal up toward a sharp angle. Um, while we have this kind of stuff going across at a horizontal. So we're going to look at that with enhancement. And here's 8.1 just to look. It looks like a clear object, like a semicircular form, you know, with its little trails behind it. Again, look around here and see what you find. Uh, there's a ton of stuff going on in this photo as well. All right, this is just an example of chemtrail activity. I saw it yesterday, and actually I haven't seen it in a while. It's been intermittently appearing over the last couple of weeks. Um, but anyway, we have the typical X patterning, and then we have other weird stuff happening all around in this, this view. Something that looks like patterning starting to want to appear here as well. And so we'll look at that with some enhancement and just all kinds of you know shapes and patterns happening in the sky. And usually when there's chemtrails, it's done in such a way that it's trying to conceal, you know, something interesting developing beyond. And uh, whether it, sometimes it has a, a strict geometry, a geometry like a triangular form. Like I don't know if there's something happening back in here or if it's trying to distract you from whatever's happening here in front because this looks like actually triangular patterns popping out. Uh, but anyway, see what you think is going on in that scene. But for sure, this is chemtrail, I observed it, it hangs around in the sky, ling lingers forever. It's not just a quick evaporating contrail, condensation trail. Here's more chemtrail activity in a different location in the city, looking west. Also strange patterning along the sky, it looks very sculptural actually, it looks like a bas relief with some of this activity happening. Um, but then we had some very clear chemtrails, you know, shooting off on sharp angle here, here, and here. Okay, sorry, I was had to jump off, I'm back. Um, but anyway, in this enhanced version, you can see the chemtrail activity happening over here in streaks, you know, in sharp angles. And then we have something else happening, though, here looks more organic in nature, more ripple-like. We even have a bit of a, a red-pink signature happening. So see what you think might be going on. There's just like a groove happening with an imprint of a shape happening here. Very interesting sky. And more interesting sky happening to the west a little bit later. So we're looking straight west, and here we have two objects. We're just doing A and B, and I'm calling cloaking objects. Um, you'll see why in a minute. But from a distance, it just looks like two stray odd cloud forms and nothing else, right? And then you also see a hue, you know, pink-red hue happening beyond. 
So of course we're going to take a look at that with enhancement. So this, I'm not so concerned about losing our little cloaking objects yet, but look at this, this massive red pink signature going on. And then we'll get to our objects. So 8.2, I zoomed in um, on that A object. And look at this, we have a clear shape pitching down with a little speck here, little speck emerging here. So this definitely looks like cloaking craft. This thing over here was a helicopter that kept circling the whole time I was taking the photos um, uh, just off, you know, near where these, these two forms were. Anyway, we're going to go up to 8.3. Uh, I've taken out the color just to look at this thing in a different way, and we've zoomed in. And definitely that's some type of object with another little object here, uh, kind of um, just kind of springing off from that. Then we'll look at that B area. So here we go. You know, not only was it just a strange form going vertical, while some other stuff was drifting along horizontal. But you know, we start to make out a shape at B.2. We'll go up to B.3 to look at it. And that is a triangular shape on angle going up. Looks like a trail, you know, cascading behind it with other objects within it. That's what I'm seeing. And there's that helicopter again. OK, and then we're going to look at the same scene, but just panning to the south. And we had this weird chemtrail-like stuff. And then something that may or may not be chemtrail, maybe something else coming across it. So we go to 8.1, and here's the chemtrail going down. And this had interesting patterning in it, so I'm not sure if that's chemtrail or something else happening. But also look at the color signature. We're, lo we're looking due south, and we get really warm signature happening. Then we're going to pan around to the east, same scene, just looking the opposite of where we were with the A and B. And what was interesting is at first I just thought, oh, this is a nice pink glow happening in a pretty even band across the sky. But then we look at the uh, enhancement and we see we've got a nice pink sphere going on, reddish pink. So anyway, very curious what was going on in the sky for this time frame. And it brings us to the photo of the week in the close of the show. This is just a very bitmappy grainy picture of the moon. It was not the full moon, it was the day after. Um, I think it was called the snow moon. Anyhow, I want to thank you for hanging around here a while. I hope you enjoyed your time here. And uh, it is Wednesday, so we still have a little bit of the week to go. It might be Thursday where you are already. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, whatever time of day or night, I wish you all the best. And as always, to everyone, tremendous peace and love. Take care, everyone. Love your Sky Panther. Bye.